TJ versus Sterling. What do you guys think? TJ did an interview on this, and he said, Sterling's an easy fight for me. He's not championship caliber. Now, he didn't go into detail, but I wish that he would. He didn't put Sterling down. He didn't say Sterling wasn't a good fighter. He says, it's an easy fight for me. What part of it would be easy? Do you feel like um, like he's really good? It's just like you say, stylistically, it's a bad fight for him, or are you like surprised that he's even even here? Um, a little bit of both, like stylist. I mean, he's good. Don't get me wrong. He's got some attributes. He would be where he's at without being good. But uh, he's definitely not champion caliber. You know, the guys that I've fought already in the past, much better than he is. A lot more dangerous. Like, there's no there's no danger fighting Sterling. I mean, he has he already knocked me one out? I don't even know. I didn't look at his record. You know, it's a guy that. Uh, you don't do really worried about. Um, there's no way he's gonna be out grappling me. His striking is sure pathetic. So, um, yeah, I'm surprised that he is where he is. And stylistically, it's a good fight for me. Is it personal at all with you and TJ? I mean, he's a, he being one of your bigger critics since the first fight with Piotr. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit? No, I'm just saying, oh yeah, he's been a big critic. Yeah. The guy's just been nonstop talking about me, talking about my heart and this, that, the, the, the spirit of a fighter. I mean, the spirit of a fighter is someone who's never going to give up, if you ask me. And uh, I think I showed that this time. I think I showed that even in my worst night, which was my first performance against Jan. And uh, that was a shell of myself, and he couldn't get me out of here that night. And he wasn't going to get me out of here this night either, you know. So I think I showed what I'm capable of and where my mental fortitude is where it's at. Uh, you're gonna need a lot more than that to, to break me and make me quit in there. So I, I don't know if that's what he's thinking. I don't know. If anyone's mentally weak, it's that guy. The guy needs steroids and EPO to, to catapult his career to even win as many fights as he did in the UFC. So his whole UFC tenure is tainted. I can't wait to punch him in the face. That would be somebody I, I would enjoy punching. He's got good skill, but the guy's a cheat. He's dirty and um, I like an opportunity to slap him up and we can figure out who's number one again. There was not a five second gap in that contest that Sterling didn't offer the threat of a takedown. And Sterling's MMA wrestling is on point. He either gets the takedown or uses the takedown as a threat, gets met with resistance, comes off with strikes, distracts you, goes right back into it. Rinse and repeat the entire time. Making you think about your hips, making you think about your legs at all times. Taking elevation, coming in, closing the distance, striking off and go right back to it. It's really interesting because that's the same thing that Dillashaw does so well. Dillashaw says Sterling would be an easy fight for me. And I believe that TJ was trying to gain interest in the viewer to see him versus Sterling. And I fully admit I am really interested in that match. But it wasn't the conclusion I came to. For whatever reason, as TJ talked about Sterling, it made me want to see TJ versus Jan. I want to see what's easy. Let me ask you kind of a weird question, but you say, you know, you like to stand on the feet, you like to knock people out. It's been a while since you've knocked somebody out. You know, obviously with just the suspension and then your last fight with Corey went five rounds. Do you do you miss that feeling of landing that that shot and, and feeling that that knockout? Yeah, man, absolutely. I mean, it's like, you know, for when you play baseball as a kid or when you're playing golf and you hit that perfect, perfect punch, perfect hit, it just feels like nothing. It feels like butter. And uh you know, it's, a, it's a great feeling, and then also just the reaction of the crowd, right? I mean, we feed off of that as well.